Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, I have another Chapter 2 End Event Theory. I had one a few weeks back, but this one is much better, much longer, 35 paragraphs long, and it's just much more in-depth, and it's just, it just better, okay? It's just better. This event theory has so many details, so before we get into it, guys, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn the post notifications. If you guys uh, haven't really heard, I basically stopped playing Fortnite on stream. Uh, from now on, on stream, I'll be playing a variety of games until the end of season event because Fortnite's just a little dry right now, but the storyline will always be there, so I'll always make content on the storyline. I'm still going to be posting Fortnite content on my YouTube channel, TikTok, and all that stuff. Just not streaming it anymore, um, for now at least. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoy this theory, once again, drop a like and all that. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. After the events of Chapter 2, Season 8 and 9, the Chapter 2 map is left in shambles. The map is in the worst shape it's ever been, and the Zero Point is more unstable than it ever was. Jones and the Foundation were going up against Sloane and their plans. After IO had lost to the aliens, Sloane went to hiding to plan something bigger. When the event begins, you're standing in the center of the map right under the Zero Point. Sloan, along with a very little amount of remaining IO guards, stand on one side of the Zero Point, and Jones and the Foundation stood on the other side of the Zero Point. Listen, Jones, that thing is unstable. We have to contain it, Sloan yells. As Jones steps up and says, No, what we have to do is get out of this place before that thing destroys it, he yells back, as the Foundation nods. He's right. There's no way to contain it, and it's too far gone, the Foundation yells. I've contacted Jeno. Her and the sisters know how to fix this so both of us can have our ways, he adds. How can that be possible? How can we escape and contain this thing at the same time, Sloan asks. I found another island. It's a bit smaller than this one, but it seems like there's somewhere where we can place the zero point and it can be stored there, the Foundation yells. He's right. I've seen the readings. It's some sort of vault or something. It's the safest place for this thing, Jones yells. Sloan begins to consider the possibilities. Alright, I'm in. I've contacted someone who I think can help us out here. She knows a lot more about the zero point than I do, Sloan yells. Good, let's get moving, the Foundation yells back. The Zero Point launches a reality wave, transforming the island into a corrupted island that had been taken over by dark energy of the cube. Where are we? Sloan asks. Looking around, several ruins were floating around the map. This is a different timeline. We're going to see a lot of these, so be prepared, Jones yells, as the Zero Point launches another reality wave, transforming everyone into rift butterflies. I'm a butterfly. What? How? Sloan asks. Jones sighs with disappointment. Just wait it out, he yells back. After a few more reality waves, the map has returned to normal and the zero point is now the most unstable it could possibly be. We're almost there, we just have to find some way to make it weaker, the foundation yells, as a rift opens next to Sloane. Singularity comes through the rift, standing next to her. She's wearing a signature armor, but she hasn't built the robot yet. Hello, loopers. I'm Singularity, she says, looking up at the zero point. That thing is incredibly unstable, we have to get that thing contained, she yells. That's exactly why you're here, Sloane tells her. Singularity nods. Well, I think I know how to contain it. I have a tool that we can transfer the zero point's energy anywhere. Obviously, it won't just pop up in an instant, it'll need time to grow. However, once it's there, those energy signals will start attracting attention, Singularity says, looking up at it. Alright, do your thing, Sloane tells her as she begins to suck the zero point energy from it. Its glow begins to fade as it's drained of its power. Once it's drained, it begins to pulse, finally exploding. It sends everyone flying off to the map, and as a black hole forms once again, sucking everything into it. Alright, we're in the bridge. I have a way to navigate us through here, and all we have to do is find the right universe, the Foundation yells. You begin skydiving through the bridge, passing through multiple timelines. The Foundation, Sloan, Singularity, and Agent Jones are all around you as you fly through. At the end, there's a rift butterfly spreading its wings out, opening for you. As you get closer, the screen goes all white, ending off the event. A cutscene begins, showing the Foundation, Sloan, and Agent Jones arriving inside the vault. There's a large hole fit for the zero point. The pedestals with vaulted weapons aren't there yet, and there's a desk in front of the hole. Where's the looper? Jones asks. The Foundation shrugs, looking around. They must have gotten lost in the bridge, but we don't have time to think about that. Transfer the energy, he tells Singularity as she fires the tool she used at the hole, creating a zero point around half of the size of the original. It'll eventually grow, but for now, it still needs time, she tells the three. Alright, good. Now one of us needs to stay down here and make sure that thing doesn't cause any more trouble, Sloan says. I'll do it, Singularity volunteers. Sloan nods as Singularity heads over to the desk, takes off her helmet, and sets it down, bringing out a radio, setting it to her desk next to the helmet. Just for some music so I don't go insane, she says. Sloan, Agent Jones, and Foundation all look for a way out of the vault. When all of a sudden they hear a large crash, it leaves them all confused. The camera pans out of the vault, revealing that they were just on the Chapter 1 island and the meteor had just hit. The cutscene ends, revealing a countdown for Chapter 3, and files for a beginning event like Chapter 2 Season 6 are found. For Chapter 3 Season 1, the looper that had gotten lost in the bridge becomes conscious, pushing themselves onto their feet. The Foundation and Sloane are standing around them. They're up, the Foundation says. Alright, what next, Sloane asks, looking at the Foundation. Well, that meteor had a member of my team on it, and we need to find him, the Foundation says. Sloane nods, helping up the looper. 
Wait, I've been here before. I know this place. I know what happens, the looper says. Sloan and the Foundation stop dead in their tracks. You what? The Foundation asks, looking back at the looper. I've been here before. I know who that member is. We have to warn him, otherwise we're going to go through this whole zero point thing again, the looper says, as the Foundation nods. All right, he says, show us where to go. The screen goes black, starting the beginning of the event. Sloan, the player, and the Foundation are exploring the meteor site when they find the visitor. Who are you guys, he asks, looking around. I'm the Foundation. I discover the Seven, the Foundation tells him. He nods, looking at Sloan and the Looper. Look, I don't know why I'm here, but I'm detecting signals from this island with infinite energy that could potentially be dangerous. You're up, Looper, the Foundation says. All right, I know this sounds strange, but that energy from the Zero Point, it's a very large energy source that will continue to grow over time. For now, we need you to contact the other members of the Seven and get them here. Once that happens, we warn Singularity about any potential danger, and we have her built a large robot. That will spare us some time. Do you understand? The Looper asks. I understand. Where do we start? The visitor asks. We start at the zero point. Now hurry up, let's get moving, the looper says, ending off the event, beginning chapter three, season one. Four warning. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoy that theory. That's the most insane theory that I have ever made in my entire life. Um, it took me like 15 tries to get every line right, so please drop a like on the video. This took a long time to make. And I got demotivated, demotivated like halfway through. I was like, oh my god, there's no way I'll be able to read this. I read it a little bit fast because I, I needed to get over with. I mean, it's like almost midnight now. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And also, if you want more theories, let me know what type of theories you want. Wow, that, <laughs> that script, that theory is freaking awesome, guys. I can't wait to make more. And uh, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.